Code Red. This is R.E.D. Relevant Entertaining Dynamics here with my co-host, Tyler Kino, and my other co-host today, Gregory. Gregory, you're looking fly, baby. So good. Woo! In Dolce & Gabbana. Everyone. Yes. So good. Love it. And you, my friend, look hot in your Christmas attire. Listen. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm with you, I'm with you. But Gregory's gonna start dressing us, we can't wait. But today we have a really special guest. She is awesome, she's off the chart, she's wild, she's spunky. I met her at Playlist Live and I had to have her on the show. Her name is Brittany Lockridge and she is Queen Lock 1989 on TikTok and Instagram, so you may know her. Here she is, Brittany! <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Brittany? Yeah. Uh, how are you? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous, but I'm a little too excited. Thank you for having me. Oh, Y'all look amazing. Absolutely, you too. And and I see you're there. You're in Louisiana, uh, representing New Orleans, the Saints, baby. That's it. Yeah, you know, we we haven't had the best of team lately, but we still got to show where we're from. That's all. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much. So. I want to talk to everybody and tell you, um, you know, I want I want everybody to learn about you. Tell me about your, what you're doing, your viral videos. We want to know it all, girl. Let's bring it. Let's get it. All right. So, how did you get started on TikTok and Instagram? Um. So I got started on TikTok because honestly, I got laid off work uh, back in 2020. I started May of 2020. And one of my friends from Facebook had actually hit me up. I was like, hey, you should do TikTok. I'm like, TikTok? That's like a child's app. Why would I even want to do that? <laughs> and uh, I just said, forget it. I made a video of me dancing. And like the next day, I came about to having uh, like a couple hundred people liking my stuff. I said, what? Stop playing with your girl. I'm out here famous for a hundred likes. <laughs> 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 I thought I was something big because I was happy when I got 10 likes on Facebook. So to see a couple hundred likes, I was like, yo, girl, doing it. I ain't <laughs> <laughs> I, just... I love it. Yeah, so so that's how uh, I started on TikTok was pretty much I was laid off work. And, you know, that was around the corona pandemic time. We got bored, couldn't hang out with nobody. So social media became like our way of socializing socializing it was like our new club absolutely so from dancing you started doing other kinds of videos talk to me about those Ooh, um right so like no i did dance and i love making comedy though i like making people laugh and smile i never thought that i was funny i think a lot of people just say it's my expression it's how i kind of What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's kind of how I just kind of, it's my demeanor. It's the way I present myself. It's mm -hmm. my goofiness. It's yeah. Things like that make me funny, I guess, to some people. But so I like to do comedy. I like to make people laugh. I like to dance. I like to speak my mind, which can also get me in trouble quite a bit. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> <Think that. laughs> so you don't realize, like, being on social media, we didn't grow, I didn't grow up with social media. You know, we kind of, we was able to say what we felt, did what we felt. If you didn't like what somebody said, you either address it or you shut the, you know, you shut the hell up. But on social media, you say one thing wrong and the whole internet about to come down crumbling on you. And you gotta learn that the hard way. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That's okay. Have you ever been blocked? Yeah. By who? By TikTok or Instagram? Like, has your video been... <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, uh, I mean, I can tell you on my main page, it has 3 million, the Queen Log 1989. That page was permanently banned 52 times. <gasps> wow. They had to keep bringing me back. Um, <laughs> really? Because people were mass reporting me, believe it or not. And I've had five different pages get permanently banned at almost a million. Wow, of course. that's crazy. And what are some of the things that you did to get out on it, Ban? Okay, so like, all right, so I'm, I'm gonna, my very first page, I made a mistake, right? So, you know, I love the apps. I love the edits and all that. I'm not gonna lie. I think what got me banned is I had sent, I did a private video for my, for my, the middle of my life. And it might've showed like, you know, a or two. Um, 
So that one, I, 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 I believe that that was probably the reason why that one got banned. That was nobody's fault but her. That checks. But everybody else, the other videos, I mean, the other pages that I did, I've had people tell me that it is because I am... People think I'm not being my authentic self by the way that I tell, by the way that I act. They believe that um, I'm trying to, as this new age would say, culture appropriate. Mm, okay. And I have gotten mass reported multiple times behind that, to be honest. I think that's so, it's so crazy that you bring that up because just, you know, we were talking before the show started, like, I don't get that vibe from you at all. Everything that I watch from you is just seems like full, authentically you. It is exactly who you are. You're putting it all out there, whether people like it or they don't. Like, there's no barriers or anything. So it, it shocks me that people would actually think that you're not authentic. No, because I think people want me to be like, oh my God, like, how are you? Like, I, 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 I'm not good at talking like that. This is literally how I, you know, I grew up. I was born and raised in Toledo, Ohio. Um, I've been down south for the last 13 years. It's just like, this is just me. But it's like people don't want to accept that this is me. And I don't I don't really know what else to say or do but to get people to believe me. I mean, that's why. It's interesting that you say that because, you know, you're different in the sense of what that what is different anymore, yeah. right? What What is different? I mean, it doesn't mean anything, but... To me, it's like, I just look at you and I'm like, this girl is real. She's cool. She's not herself. Not of the norm. Yeah, you're not of the norm. You're not going to be this, you know, person that's like, oh my God, hi, which is exactly like what I'm like. I am authentically <laughs> like that. Uh -huh. And people think I'm not authentic either because I'm too happy, too bubbly, this and that. And I think no matter what you do in life, people are going to hate whether you do good, whether you do bad, whether you do this. Or do... So to me, it's like, be you, girl. Do you? Yes, amen to that. I, 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 I doubt I take a sip of water on that. <laughs> I really, truly believe that. You know, I want to know about your first viral video, though, mm. because I think, you know, to get a, a grasp of who you are, what you do, tell us about it and what uh, when it went viral, what did you do? <clears throat> okay, so I've had a lot of different videos go viral, but I'm going to say my most viral video would probably be the also the first for me because I've had millions of views and stuff, but it was the if this is you. I know you fing lying. So some of you men need to understand when you can and can't raise your mother voice. So let me demonstrate. If this is you, you better lower your fing tone when you talking to me. And this you're pushing it. At this length, you should be able to ask for a sandwich, but you still need to say please. From this length on growing, you won't even have to raise your damn voice to me. You don't even have to use a tone with me. Your breakfast will already be ready for you in the bed. Your damn lunch will already be packed and ready for you to go to work. And by the time you get home, you will have dinner with me in lingerie. Try me if you want to. Check, please. I'm done. I have watched Queens of Comedy. This is what inspired me to do it. I watched Queens of Comedy and I was watching some more sex uh, segment of it. And she was talking about, you know, guys that need to lower their tone. You know, you got to have a different tone when you talk to women. If you ain't got that slang, long slang type thing, you got that. <laughs> and I agreed. I was like, girl, that's funny. It was hilarious. I'm like, she's right. You know, if you if you're a certain amount, you should you should. Some, some of y'all don't even need to say nothing. Y'all need to just, you know, write a note and <laughs> maybe a text message and just email or something to me. And I thought it was funny. So I put it in my own terms, in my own words. And I was like, if this is you, then you need to lower your mother effing tone, this, that, and the other. And that video has over a million likes. It has been literally, people have stitched that video they duetted the video. Many have were offended by the video. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help that one. Like, but a lot of people just they didn't. 
it was good and bad out of all of it. When it first came about or whatever, I was like, holy crap. Like, I have a, like, it was insane at how quickly it, you know, hit, it went right. viral. Like, I was like, oh, my God. what Like, what just happened? And it was supposed to be fun, but then a lot of people took it, you know, oh, she's body shaming, she's this and she's that. And so behind the 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 jokes and the positivity came a lot of negativity with that video. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it was exciting to be viral, but at the same time, anytime somebody sees me, they're like, "If this is you, they're like you're the, if this is you, girl." I was like, "Lord Jesus!" <laughs> like I couldn't have come up with like a better. Yeah, I couldn't have said sound a little nicer, you know. Like the videos that you don't expect to go viral, go viral. The videos that you want to go viral, barely get any play, and it's yeah. Mm. We hear that, that a lot of people. We do hear that a lot. Uh, we we hear that a lot from like the guests that we've had and stuff that have shared their experiences too about content creation. And they're like ev- the ones that you pour hours into and you put so much work into don't land. And then the ones that you don't even care about that you just threw together on. The you way. know, I had a video go viral once and it was like, "Come on, mom!" And I had my my mom come on and then you know, her mom, come on. It was all the moms on Mother's Day. And then we said, happy Mother's Day. And I got hate on that. I'm like, how are you going to hate on a video about me saying, come on, mom? And they were like, well, because I, you had your daughter in your hand and that's not, you're her mother. She should have been with the other group. And I get that. But like my daughter was six months old. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? Just pass her off to walk? I mean, these people are just crazy. No, everyone's like, wait, is that part of your group? Oh, my God, is that her mother? It's like, guys, it's not that hard. It's It's my daughter. uh, Hello. Not that serious. It's not that serious. (laughs) Right, not that serious at all. Yeah. But to the world, it is that serious because, again, it's the judgment app. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. It is. I have, okay, it didn't even go viral. I can't even say that it went viral, but I used this stim machine. Like, um, it was called Bionic Fit. Okay, and it goes, it wraps around your legs and it literally just gyrates your body like up and down. <laughs> so I had a glass of wine and I was just using it like I almost have to do it. So I was like, you know, <laughs> booty popping, glass of wine in hand and the wine's flying everywhere. And I thought that that was going to land. Right. I only got like 21,000 views. No, but but to me, that was viral. I was like, oh, my God, I'm a big deal. <laughs> exactly. After that, nothing. Twenty-one thousand. That's a big deal. <laughs> it is. It is a big deal. It's great. It's also going to show you what, like, what people take in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. It's really ridiculous stuff. But I think what Britney's good at is like bringing the bringing the conversation to funny things. Yeah. Like the way that she'll like, you know, duet someone else and be like, you know, say something funny along with it or make it her own. The reactions are funny. Yeah. <laughs> and it's it's oh, different because yeah. she's different. But people be trying to send me to hell. Like I, I'm, I think I am the driver of the bus because they will send me stuff and want me to blind react, and I'm just like, I, 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 <laughs> who's gonna bring the ice? Cause yeah. it's gonna be hot on this drive down here. It's <laughs> so true. It's too oh funny. Oh my gosh! So I how long it. does a video typically take you to make? Um. If I'm really putting in the work, uh, like if I'm doing skits, learning lines and that, it could take me about two and a half to three hours to make, even if it's just 30 seconds. Yeah. Right. Yep. That's awesome. Uh, and if I'm just going out of my way and just talking, I mean, it's going to take about as long as I'm talking. <clears throat> but the videos that I do, like with skits with my kids, voiceover, dancing, you got to learn the dance, you got to learn the the lines. And then it's like, I have to, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Mm. So I have to, I critique myself. I'm my own worst enemy when it comes to judging my stuff. I, my lips have to be perfectly in sync. My, my reactions, if I'm like, Certain things I say, like my, like everything to me has to be perfect for certain videos that I do. Um, I don't know. It's just like a pet peeve for me. And uh, so, yeah, it take about two. It could take about as long as three hours for me to make the video. Wow. That's wow. incredible. Do you have your content like 
well planned out, like well thought out way in, in, in advance? Or is it something that you just kind of on a whim, you have an idea and you, you just go for it? Um, it, it's both. But a lot of times I just kind of think about stuff. Like I could be driving in my car and I could be like, oh, wait a minute, you know, let me try this. Let me think it is. I can be brainstorming while I'm shopping at Walmart for the kids' food and stuff like that. Like, it, it just, it's like my creative thinking just is above and beyond. That when I get home, it's like, okay, this is how I got to do this. And it's, it's got to be perfect for me. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny? Even as you're talking right now, and it's so cool to see like influencers come to life in an interview because mm -hmm. it's different. It's a different platform for them. They're not used to interviewing. They're more like 30 seconds, 10 seconds. But you're so beautiful, Brittany. You really you are. are. You're a gorgeous woman. And your smile is so great. You're contagious. Yeah. You know, and, and just to give you some positivity. I'm just cross sign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that people don't expect you to be the way you are because of that. Yeah. Because you're drop dead gorgeous. You have you have this electrifying personality. When you talk, you're different. When you you when you put your swag on, you're different. So I think that that's what makes you magical, and that's what gives you you know your vibe. And you're not afraid to do things that other people are. You know. Mm. So I think that's what makes you unique. So I yes. love you. We're fans. We are. Keep fans. going. Be bold. Be bold. I appreciate y'all. Seriously, <laughs> that means a lot. Absolutely. Like I said, thank y'all so much for you and allowing me to be a part of this. No, absolutely. You are definitely. One thing I have to say is you guys are definitely bringing something different that people don't see on my TikToks unless they go into my lives. Yeah. Like right. People, People are quick to judge people off of videos without really getting to know who they are as a person. So I, I just kind of want to... person has a short attention span. That's right. Mm. That's yeah. very true. So even with how they do music now, they put the chorus in the beginning of the song yeah. to grab your attention because the average attention span is eight seconds. Yeah. That's true. And, you know, to piggyback what you're saying... I am so grateful that Michelle made this podcast a reality and that you were really the mastermind behind it because there needs to be awareness brought to the other side of what you're talking about. You know, like there's so much to content creation and to being an influencer and being on social media that people don't see. And I'm just so grateful that you created this and that we're all here just talking about it because it's important. Yeah. And and these people, like, I feel like she put so much time into these videos. You know, she's getting this notoriety. But there's comments, I'm sure, that tear her up at night. Right. And they don't see that part. They don't see that, you know, it wasn't meant to be this way. Like, I'm just having fun. Right. A lot of the times, I'm just being me. Like, it's not meant to be taken serious. Comedy is not serious. And today, with all these ways that people, you know, judge you because of, cancel culture and all these things it's hard to to be com comedic right it really is you can't say this you can't do that so it's like all right here's the line you got to stay within it but you have to be daring in order to get here so it's like this boundary that you have to follow in order to really get to where you want to go it's hard you know I that i definitely will concur for that one <laughs> <laughs> and to get banned for every little thing so tell me something that people misunderstand about you mm. People misunderstand about me. People think I'm angry because <laughs> I'm loud. People think I'm arrogant, angry, um, and that I'm not being my authentic self. Uh, like like um, Tyler, like I was saying earlier, was telling people's uh, uh, attention span is eight seconds, oh. right? So if I'm sitting here and I'm speaking to you on a video and I'm really trying to grasp your attention, I'm not going to sit up here and just kind of so I would like to talk to you guys for a minute. No, I'm like, look, <laughs> listen, okay? Y'all ain't gonna believe what the I just got done. L listen, all right, so check this. So people think I'm angry, but I have to grasp the audience's attention to get them to hear what I'm about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how to bring one because they, she tricked them into thinking, Oh, I'm coming. I'm I'm gonna do something. Con I'm say something controversial, <laughs> right? Because I'm just coming off as opposed to I'm just being right, warm, peaceful. Don't respect that, right? It's true. 
And he's, and he's, but he's serious. He's very real about that. <laughs> sure, that's just cool. that. Right. And lastly, too, when you do, if you do read those comments too at night, like the uh, the negative ones that may get you, if you will, at the end of the day, people talked about Jesus too. That's mm-hmm. right. I was, I wanted to say, I, I was, I would say, don't read. But then again, if you, it's not like you had like, an, like unless you're like an athlete or something like that. Like they don't, they don't read comments when you like certain people. They like so. They don't read, co- don't read comments, especially mm-hmm. like if you're an athlete, don't read comments. Don't even watch the news for crying out loud. Bro. Right. With social media, I mean. You, you're you doing it for this purpose. Yeah. Like, exactly. Take the good with the bad. What has been the worst comment you've ever received? Um. Yeah, they, they pretty much told me to unallow myself. Um, and I've had people tell me that, you know, they wish I was dead. That oh my god, uh, they they even threatened to talk about my kids. And the problem that is is when you speak to our mind on social media, people don't want you to. They don't want to hear what you have to say, but they want you to hear what they have to say. Right. Um, mm. and you have to take the good with the bad. You know, especially when when you are someone who voices their opinions. And that you have to expect that people are going to come into the comments. They're going to stitch your videos. They're going to make videos about you. Um, but like you say, you just have to uh, either don't read them or turn off the comment section. See, I'm the type that it used to bother me. Those comments used to like literally bother me. I'm like, what did I do to call have so much hatred? But I've learned that that is just a part of the social media culture and that, that's just what people do they like trickling and, and your kids into your um mm-hmm. to your... she has yeah, yes yeah. i do i do not as much but i do but i also i teach my kids about social media and how people are mean like uh my daughter was hurt because people would talk about her eyebrows are so light that it doesn't look like she's having them and people would literally address that and she's reading it you know and she's like mommy why do they hate me and I'm like, sweetheart, they don't hate you. They hate themselves. I'm like, you don't have to prove nothing to nobody. You are just as beautiful. And I'm teaching them how cruel this world is so that it makes it easier for them to go on. Because there are kids out here that will see stuff like that. There are adults out here that read negative comments. And they feel like they shouldn't be on this earth. Yeah. And I don't think people realize that that is such a... They don't realize how much their words impact certain people and people are like you have to be strong to be on social media like mm-hmm. you can't it's you can't have a weak mind you can't allow comments to get to you You can't allow comments to get you banned and blocked and you just ignore it they're not going to do nothing to you um now you strong. still have a page right because i know you were banned 50 something times is it still the original page or is it um, a new page that you started? And how are you protecting yourself from getting banned now? Okay, so my very, the page, the Queen Log 1989 is the one that has 3 million followers on. Um, I could not get on that one as much. I'll go live on that, but I don't post. Uh, the other page that I have is my backup. That is the Queen Log 1989 underscore. Uh, that has 1.5 million supporters on that one. Wow, that's amazing. You're incredible. Keep preaching, girl. Keep preaching. Tell us about the craziest person you've ever met or the coolest, either one on social media and, you know, what you've done to kind of, you know, further the relationship or like, have you met good people on social that have like helped you out? Oh, I've met a lot of amazing people on this app. Um, I've met people. I've got to click with people. I've met you. Yeah. I've met many people playlist at playlist live um the craziest whew, the craziest people person i've ever met um they actually knew where i lived no they waited for me to come out of my community gate <laughs> i'm driving and i'm you know i'm i have ptsd bad so i constantly am looking around i'm looking around and i see this car behind me so I, I, you know, I get in the right lane, they hop over to the right. I get a little left, they hop over to the left. I'm like, what's, it, what's going on? <laughs> so I, I turn, they turn right along with me. So I roll up in the parking lot to go get my nails done. 
they roll up behind me, man. When I tell you, I grab my strap so damn quick. <laughs> it's like I thought it was a. I thought it was somebody that was trying to hurt me. Mm. So as I open my door, he opens the door. He comes out and he's like, "I am such a huge fan of yours." Oh, oh no! Happy to meet you. You was about to. You was about to. Meet, you don't even realize, yo. You was about to meet Jesus sooner than you thought. <laughs> <laughs> so the back approach. Yeah, it was a scary moment. I think that was the craziest encounter I've ever had with somebody being Oof. from this app. Who's your dream person to work with? Mm. Dream person? On so on TikTok or Yeah, on TikTok. Uh it's gonna sound crazy. Chris Brown. Oh my god! <laughs> I would love yes! to dance with Chris Brown. I like, love him. I, I would love to just just dance, you know. I ain't gotta be in this music, but I just wanna, I just wanna dance with you and see, you know, see if I keep up, man. Cause like, <laughs> I be doing it. I can do just like you. I can do the Michael Jackson spins and everything. <laughs> I, I love, love it. it. Uh, but right now we're gonna play a game, this or that. Are you ready for this? All right, Tyler, you wanna kick it off? All right. Well, I feel like this is gonna be easy. TikTok or Instagram? <laughs> TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> All day, all day. <laughs> all right. Sweet or savory? Sweet. Ooh, Ooh. me too. I'm all about sweet. You're sweet too? Really? Mm. Mm, me too. Phone calls or texts? Oh, I hate text messages. Got to be phone calls. Got to be phone calls. Really? That's yes, I got to hear. Because, you know, people take... They take text messages out of context, and I gotta let you know, like, I love you, babe, you know? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, it depends who it is. Yeah. Depends on, it depends who it is. Yeah, you are right. That's just more convenient. Yeah. That's true. Mm. Oh, this is a good one. I, I, I'll say. Hard or soft shell taco? Soft. Yo! Yeah! Oh! Soft yeah. shell taco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, Brittany, yo, you're falling out on me here. <laughs> TV shows or movies? Ah, oh, movies all day. Me too. Mm. I haven't watched a show in years. I'm a kind of a show person. You like Netflix? Yeah. Me too. And Docu Hula. Yeah, documentaries. I like. I love documentaries. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah. True stuff. 2020. I'm a huge fan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you watched every movie they had on Netflix. That's movie. it. That's <laughs> it. Did he All snort? right, well, Brittany, we love you, girl. We're fans for life. Thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, we can't oh, wait to have you back. Anytime you have a viral video, send it over our way or any video you want us to share because we want to promote you, girl. You're spreading goodness. It's funny. Keep going. Don't listen to haters. And uh, yeah. we love you, girl. So keep it going. Thank you so much. We love y'all. Where can people find you online, Brittany? Uh, Queen Lodge 1989 on TikTok, on Instagram, YouTube, uh, everything but Facebook. Don't, All right. don't, don't hit me on Facebook. I'll see you at Playlist, girl. Make sure you follow my girl, Brittany. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Michelle Barone, your host, Tyler Keno, my co host, and my boy, Gregory. Let's go, baby! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. <laughs> episode oh, is sponsored by my dear friends at Jador Fine Jewelry. Visit jadorfinejewelry.com.